Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series, and in our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll define all materials properties for our isolated foundation. And in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll draw our foundation and how we'll design that. So for that, I will open our software first. So here our software and uh, actually in previous lecture I have defined our, our materials type here our materials type then uh, I have defined our uh, slab properties here for uh, a column step and for foundation okay we have defined everything also we have defined our uh, subgrade soil properties okay here BC bearing capacity so uh, if you new here you can watch our previous video and also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's uh, start now in this lecture i'll just first of all i'll draw the grid line to draw our foundation so from here we'll go edit and from here edit grid and add or modify grid so here global okay i'll go here show or modify so from here i'll select a spacing and here i'll give the grid name it's a and here uh, the spacing is meter so i'll give it suppose three meter okay and our b here our uh, b that will be zero okay and uh here for one i'll give her suppose five meter and for two i'll just uh for two i'll just give actually for two i'll just give a uh, two i'll just give zero and from here here you you can give the bubble size okay here the bubble size what will be the bubble size actually and also you can change the grid color okay i'm not going to do anything so simply i'll click okay then i'll click okay now see here here is the grid here is the our that grid now i'll just uh, remove the background that grid line so to do that click here and go here horizon okay so here you're seeing that only grid are now available here okay only grid are now available now we'll draw our foundation here okay we'll draw we'll draw our foundation here so to draw our foundation first of all we have to go ahead actually by using that four tool we can draw our foundation but uh, i will use that tool because suppose if i use that so actually here by using that option we can simply draw our slab like that way so here is the slab in that way we can draw our slab i'll just press ctrl z so in this in that way we can draw slab and also by using that option rect we can draw rectangular slab just like that we can draw rectangle slab i'll ctrl z i'll close and also by using that option we can draw quick slab simply i will if i mm, click under a i mean between a grid line then it will automatically draw a slab or foundation okay so i will just uh, use that option draw quick at uh, draw here quick draw areas around points okay quick draw area around points so here i will just uh, draw a columns around a point i mean sorry i will draw a foundation around a point and from here from here i'll just select slab then our uh, from here just we'll select our uh, property types here footing okay here property type is footing and this is rectangular and from here both property is footing and here what will be the dimension actually i will first consider here i will consider two meter into two meter i mean six meter uh, almost uh, seven feet into seven feet foundation okay then it's done and now i'll simply click here or uh, any of grid then here just see here here is our foundation foundation with thickness of 250 mm and uh, length of length and width are 200 i mean two two meter into two meter so in that way we'll we can just uh, draw our foundation actually when it's required then uh we'll resize our that size and shape if required okay so uh 
after that I'll just will draw, draw column strip so click here in column strip and I'll give it uh, suppose our column size is uh, 3 3 uh, 300 mm so 0 0.3 and uh, others you can write here like that see 300 mm okay and if you click any other it will any other place then it will convert automatically in meter so 0 0.3 0 0.3 now i'll simply click here just see here here is, here is your column is stiff okay now i'll just close that so we have successfully draw our foundation with column stiff like now if you see it in 30 just see here here is our foundation with column is stiff now i'll go here now first of all i will draw our uh, soil properties so i'll select sorry i'm extremely sorry ctrl z and escape then i'll select here by clicking here i'll select that uh, foundation now i'll go here assign from here support data and soil properties so from here i'll select bc i mean bearing properties also you can change that modify that then press ok now see here here is your soil properties we have successfully defined okay now again uh, if i go here yeah, that is our soil properties subsoil properties bc modify data and here is our soil properties then i'll cancel cancel now we'll apply load on it okay we'll apply load on our foundation so suppose if i click here just see here it's it has selected full point okay not as a point so we know that our, our foundation load i mean load from our structure it's work as point load on foundation so from here uh, when we have selected that it's showing us area for it selected okay but uh, we have to uh, provide the load as a point load so i will just escape to deselect that and from here i will go here draw and from here i'll draw points here i'll click draw points so simply draw points and it's zero zero then click here now see here here a point have created now i'll close that i'll escape and if i now click here just see here one point selected okay one point selected now i'll go here assign load data then point load so from here uh, our uh, dead load will be like as our, our total load i mean it's self weight and will provide our structure load as a live load okay so here they have a uh, three way in x direction y direction then global z okay global z direction then our uh, mx moy and mz so here i'll just uh, provide the load I mean this is the our vertical load okay this is the downward load and I will just provide suppose to zero zero sorry 200 kilo Newton load okay and suppose uh, in MX and M MY I'll just consider our load is suppose uh, here our load is uh, I mean sorry our moment is suppose it's uh, 50 and uh, 48 okay 45 like that as actually you will uh, get that data from your uh, design and uh, a, a structural designer will give you that data to design that foundation okay and uh, after that you have to design that and you'll get uh, every data x y z if any data required you have to apply that data here and also you will get data from it apps and also i'll create video one that how will uh, design uh, I mean uh, how we'll consider or how we'll collect data from our ETAPs and how we'll input here okay I also I have uh, shown you it in your, in your previous video that how we'll design a slab from ETAPs to CSS safe also if you want to know that you can watch our previous video now here you have to do a important thing size of load for punching share okay what will be the punching share so in X direction we have to give 300 and for y direction we have to give 300 actually why why we are providing because this is nothing but the this column size okay nothing but the column strip size 
right so here is the column strip size when uh, just you have to give that data according to column strip size because we know that our punching share will be checked by is according to its column column round then i will just click they have three options replace existing load add to existing load so you can select any of it okay then okay so it's done so we have our uh, defined and we have provided load on our structure successfully so here if we see here just see here here is a load okay so here is a load with our soil support data so uh, it's done actually in this lecture we have completed uh, to draw our foundation and also we have provided loan on load on it and in our next video i'll just show that how we'll design that and analyze that after that how we'll complete its detailing also so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and uh, if you're a civil engineer then like our video share our video and leave a comment because you're on like and on comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video